eclipses happening. We have all this stuff going on. So let's get ourselves prepared and get our heart chakra in balance. And that way we can go through this week with more power, with more balance, with more peace and ease, okay? Then we're gonna get our fairy blessing and then y'all are going to choose the deck that I use to do the reading, okay? So all you do while the bowl is singing is you just relax and you just feel it in your heart, okay? If you can sit up and put your feet on the ground, that would be ideal. If you can't, that's okay. If you're driving, don't close your eyes and don't do the things. <laughs> Um, but just take this moment to yourself and listen to the bowl sing. It's just a few seconds and allow your heart chakra to rebalance, to recalibrate. Okay, here we go. Just breathe. Now let's all collectively take one super deep breath in. Fill your lungs, pick up all the heaviness from the last week and let's blow it out. Get rid of it, we don't need it. <laughs> okay, you can do that at any time. Breath work is essential to your sense of peace, okay? It's essential to regulating your nervous system and doing all those things, all right? So, oops, hang on, Heather, it hid your comment. Yes, rabbit, rabbit. Nice memory, Heather. <laughs> Don't forget to say rabbit, rabbit tonight, okay? Because rabbit, rabbit brings in the blessings for the next month, and I'm telling you, it works like a charm. Sorry, that piece of hair tickling me. When you say rabbit, rabbit, Rabbits signify or symbolize fertility, which means multiplying of things. It means abundance of things. It means rapid movement as well. So when you say rabbit, rabbit at, at the end of the night tonight and then first thing in the morning, you are blessing the, you're leaving this month behind and you're blessing the next month. Okay? So don't forget that. That felt good? Good. I'm so glad. Awesome. All right, let's get our fairy blessing right quick. We have a lot to get through this morning. I mean, we got time, but still. What is our fairy blessing for this week? What is our fairy blessing for this week? Ooh, a blessing from the ever young. And it's number 22. Look at that. Look how beautiful. Y'all know that song, Forever Young? I don't know why that song always gets me emotional. Not, not the um, Rod Stewart Forever Young, but the other one. It, I don't remember what, I don't remember who it's by or what movie or whatever it's in. <clears throat> but that, that song always gets me emotional. I don't know why, because I, I always feel forever young, right? And, and feeling forever young just means that you are, you're allowing yourself to play throughout life. You're allowing yourself to see the goodness in life and in other people. And you know that only the body grows old and the soul stays forever young, right? And you'll have this opportunity, which this is perfect for me going on my girls trip because we're gonna go have fun, we're gonna go explore, and we're gonna just enjoy our friendship, right? So this week with master number 22, 22 is the master builder, okay? It's the one that that knows. It's, it's the very, kind of, it reminds me of like the hermit card in tarot, okay? Because the master builder is, is doing things through wisdom, but still allowing themselves to stay forever young. So even though you're growing wiser, even though your body's growing older, your soul will forever stay young, right? And so that's why like whenever you see people that look younger than their age, it's because their soul, it, they're allowing themselves to feel like their soul. They're allowing themselves to feel young, okay? In person, people always think I'm in my like early 30s. I'm 43, okay? And, and I would, I'll be like, okay, they said it online, but no, people tell me this in person. Like they don't believe that I have a 23-year-old. They don't believe that I have a 16-year-old. And so for me, I just say, well, it's because I'm living a life that I love. 
I, I refuse to believe that being 43 means I'm old or that my body is supposed to act or look, to, look a certain way, okay? So it's all up here in your mindset on how you feel and how you, how you respond to life. So, yeah. I'm almost 40, and I just now started feeling like an adult. Jamie, I always forget that you and I are not too very far apart in age. I literally always think you're, I don't know why, I always think you're in your, like, 20s. <laughs> so, there you go. <laughs> you get it all the time? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, all the time. It doesn't, even when my hair was more silver, you know, I was letting it all grow out, uh, people would still wouldn't believe that I was my age. So it's not even about looks, it's about the, the feeling and the essence that you put out, the, the energy, because I saw a girl make a video um, on TikTok and she was like, you know what guys, in the end, we're all gonna die. You know, in the end of this game, we're all gonna die. So might as well live it up, right? And it, it's a way of living it up to where you're getting the opportunity to have fun. You're not worrying about what other people think, do, or say. You are uh, having the experiences that you want to have. You're not doing anything that's hurting yourself or another person. You know, that's living it up and, and making the most out of life. I don't know why that stuck. You're welcome. <laughs> I only speak the truth, Jamie. <laughs> I'm 45 and always get complimented that I look 35. Yeah, same here. I'm like, thank you. And I still to this day get carded for, you know, alcohol. I'm, okay, please, yes, check my ID. <laughs> okay, you guys, we're going to have what we like to call a showcase showdown. If you're, if you know, you know, <laughs> showcase showdown. All right, today we have the choice between my new favorite, the Baroque Tarot, Baroque, not Broke, the Baroque Tarot or the Light Seer's Tarot. Okay, so I want you to choose in the comments one or two, okay? And only vote once, and that way we can keep up with who's going to win. One, Baroque Tarot, two, Light Seer's Tarot. And y'all, please help me keep track in the comments. TikTok is already taking off, so y'all help me keep track, please. One or two. It's a showcase showdown of my two favorite decks. <laughs> it looks like twos are getting it. You guys must miss the light seers. We haven't used it in a while. Looks like twos are getting it on Instagram. Twos so far? Okay, I thought so. Thank you. Like I said, just vote once. Twos. Two's having on Instagram. Okay, look at y'all. Loyal to the light seers. I love it. All right, whoa. <laughs> Let's see. Like I said, I'm going to pull cards for every day this week, Monday through Sunday, because I will be out of town. I will not be on Friday morning as usual, okay, or like I usually am. So let's see what is coming up for us all this week, going into October, having the eclipses happening, all that jazz. I told you there's something about October that is significant. And I know it's the eclipses as well, but I don't know. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe there's more to it. I'm turning 70 and people think I'm in my 60s and they say I don't act my age. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> And, and, and what is that even though, like acting your age, what does that mean? You know, because like we look back when we were in, uh, you know, like when I was a kid, adults acted a certain way, or you're supposed to act a certain way when you hit a certain age. Like, what does that even mean? You know, like who, who said, <laughs> who said you can't have fun and go act like a teenager when you're in your sixties or seventies? Like who gives a shit really? All right. So. And don't forget, you guys, I will announce the winner of the free tarot reading this uh, this evening or this afternoon, okay? I'm getting all that together, together, getting all the names and everything, and I will do the drawing probably on video, um, so I will announce the winner soon. All right, let's see. <clears throat> what is coming up for us this week? If you're new here, I'm going to draw one card for each day, and we'll talk about it. So let's look at the energy for today. I'm going to set these over here so I can just pick them up. 
Okay, today we have the Three of Swords in reverse, okay? So whenever the Three of Swords is in reverse, it indicates that there is a portion of you that is healing. There's something within your heart that is healing, something that is falling away. Now, these eclipses will do that, okay? Jamie, the eclipse is in, or the, the new moon, is this in Libra happening? Y'all remind me. I listen to so much and I get too far ahead and I forget uh, which one it is that's coming up. <clears throat> so anyways, we have the three of swords in reverse. Yes, Libra. Okay, thank you. So this eclipse is about, you know, eclipses are about surrendering and letting the universe do the work for you, right? It's, it's not you doing anything. It's not you trying to manifest. It's, it's surrendering and, and letting it just, letting it be, right? So if there's been some sort of heartache, some, so, some sort of separation or pain that's been lingering in that heart space, now it's time to release that, to surrender that today, okay? So it could be that you decide today, this is going to be different for everybody. This is the collective reading. So it could be today that you decide to separate from somebody or something, and it's less of a heartbreak because you are making the decision instead of something happening to you. It could be today that you decide to finally let go of that old bitterness, the anger, the pain, the guilt, whatever it is about a relationship. And you're like, you know what? I'm fine. I have to let this go. Okay? Because it's time for your heart space to start to heal. And Libra rules relationships, right? And we're going into this eclipse with Libra energy. Okay? So, mm, all right. Let's look at tomorrow. Tomorrow we have the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Okay? So when the Ace of Pentacles is in reverse, this is, you know, this always reminds me of a full moon and we have a new moon coming up. So funny that it's in reverse. <laughs> so this is indicating that something is evolving. If you were waiting on something happening on Tuesday, it might not, okay? There might be a delay here. Like if you're waiting on an offer for a new job or maybe somebody to ask you out or get an invitation somewhere or to, to buy a new thing on Tuesday, it might be delayed because it's just not the right energy, not the right time, okay? So it's okay. Just relax and surrender to what is happening in the cosmos, and then you respond. Did you see that light? That was cool. <laughs> you respond by moving through your highest good, moving through your divine power, okay? Not just reacting through your human consciousness. Does that make sense? Oops, hang on. Balance, balance. Yeah, okay, good, good, good. Okay, so let's go to Wednesday. Wednesday, we have the Queen of Swords, and speaking of Libra energy, okay? Now, it's like the dust is clearing, the smoke is clearing, and you can start to see better about what is coming up. So the Libra, I'm sorry, the Queen of Swords, she is Libra energy. She is a visionary. She is looking at where she wants to go in the future. She's considering all the things, okay? Sometimes when I see this in a reading, this can signify her and her children, okay? But also it can just indicate like, where do I want to go from here? She's not thinking emotionally because the cup is locked away. She's thinking logically. She's seeing things from a higher perspective, right? She's got that eagle eye and she's like, I know exactly where I want to go from here and this is what I'm gonna do, okay? So on Wednesday, very clear perception, very clear thinking. You might have something that comes in, uh, like a, an aha moment or something here because this is about relationships, this is about connections, and it could be literally just about your way you want to move forward. So it's like I'm moving away from a situation that I know is not good for me. And now I see things clearly because you might have some sort of revelation happen, you know, on the eclipse. But it's going to be different for everybody. But again, Wednesday, good day for making decisions, clear thoughts, thinking logically. Okay. Let's look at Thursday. Thursday, we have the Five of Cups in reverse. Much better energy. There is goodness to be experienced on Thursday because you have allowed the, your, yourself and the universe to surrender, right? You're surrendering and letting things go that need to go 
and now you're choosing to see the better side of life. You're choosing to see the, the silver lining, okay? You're understanding that there's so much more to experience in life than what you've been focused on, right? Because what you've been focused on is all the pain, all the heartbreak, you know, all the disappointment in life, right? But the universe is like, hang on, because shit's about to get much better, okay? So let's look at Friday. Friday, we have the Two of Pentacles in reverse. So when we have the Two of Pentacles in reverse, it can indicate, number one, that you have made a decision to, to remove some things from life, or number two, that you're struggling to make a decision. It's going to be up to you. It's different for everybody because I can't, I don't have your whole spread in front of me, right? It's not a personal reading. This is a collective reading. So when we think about this, when we think of the Two of Pentacles, the Two of Pentacles is the juggler of the tarot, okay? They're juggling life. They're juggling work-life balance, relationship life balance, relationship work balance. They're just juggling all the things, okay? When it's in reverse, it could feel like they have taken something off and they no longer feel like they're juggling, they're in balance. Or for some people, it does indicate that you have too much on your plate and you can't juggle it. And so you're starting to drop everything and you're, it's becoming emotional for you. So all in all, on Friday, it's a good time for you to just relax, okay? Look at where you feel like you're out of balance in life. Look at where you feel like you need to take some things off your plate on Friday. Um, you know, it's, it's a time of just, let me just be. Let me experience something. Let me see what is, and then I can make the decision. Because when the emotions are involved, it gets really difficult, right? It's hard to see. So whenever we have the two of pentacles, it's like, okay, I've make, I'm making the decision that I'm leaving all of this stuff behind because it, it no longer re resonates with me. It's not meant to be with me or it's, it's weighing me down or it's causing me stress, okay? So again, this could be work-life balance, uh, relationship life balance, work uh, relationship balance, whatever it is, okay? You have to find that equilibrium, within. Okay. Because I mean, that's that Libra, she's all about balance. Okay. It's all about balance and seeing how life is reflecting back to you through the people that you are dealing with in your life. Okay. So if you have troubling, toxic people, look at how they're behaving and what are they triggering within you and why do you have them around? Are you trying to fulfill something within you where you feel like you're attached to that person because you have that toxicity within you, okay? Because when you're healing, when you're growing and all of that, like you won't stand for that shit, okay? And it comes in waves, okay? It goes in, in levels, right? When you heal from something, you're gonna get an opportunity to prove to yourself that you've healed from that thing because that situation is gonna come back around in a different format and the universe is like, okay, let's make sure that you've, you've overcome this. Here's your test. And if you pass it, awesome. You might get a bit of a harder one next time, but if you pass that one, then you're done. Okay? So you do heal in stages, and you will get opportunities to prove to yourself that you have done this. So don't get discouraged if you go through this eclipse and you feel like you've shed all this, this stuff and you're ready to, to be in balance and harmony and something, you get a curveball thrown your way. It's just the universe going, now it's the time to prove to yourself that you've done it, that you love yourself enough, that you're willing to do whatever it takes to keep yourself in balance. Does that make sense? Okay. Good. I'm glad it's resonating with y'all. Oh, you're so very welcome, Maggie. Okay, good. I just want to make sure everything's resonating. Oh, there we go, Jamie. Balance is also a big Libra theme. Yeah, we're on the we're on the same wavelength. <laughs> okay. So let's look at Saturday. Ooh, speaking of surrender, we have judgment in reverse on Saturday, okay? Now, when judgment is in reverse, it can indicate a resistance to surrender something, okay? This could be old patterns, 
uh, old thought processes, old relationships. There's something here. Remember how I said that you could get like a, a, a resurgence of that thing. And when judgment is a reverse, it can indicate a resurgence of something, but it's not meant to be. Does that make sense? And it could be that uh, there is something that you are meant to be witnessing, experiencing, hearing, something like that to like wake you up, but you're not listening. So make sure you turn this direct and you let it all go. You listen to your divine self. You hear the call. You wake up to the situation. Okay, because you do have the power to turn this direct. You have the power to turn any of these cards in your life. It's just showing you the energy of the day and you make it what, make, make it, what it will be. Does that make sense? <clears throat> so in, in reverse, judgment is about this resistance to let go, this resistance to, to hear the call, okay? To see things as they really are. are. Excuse me, hang on. Something tickling my throat. Okay, let's look at Sunday. Sunday, we have the page of wands in reverse, okay? Sunday, just relax, just relax. There might be a disturbance in the force. It might be you're dealing with an unruly kid. There's something here going on where it's like, you know what, just chill. <laughs> relax yourself, take a breather because this is a big week. There's a lot of like energy going like this this week. So it's telling you, relax. Don't, don't play into any drama. Don't, don't get, uh, caught up in, in, in tension or, or things that just aren't driving with you. It's like, just, just relax. Okay. Because there is something here. It's going to be either here or external that is going to try to, um, the only word I can think of is just bother you. And this is a minor arcana, right? It's just like a, a nuisance. You know, it could be you're just feeling low energy. It could be you did too much over the weekend and now you need to like chill, <laughs> you know? And uh, so yeah, Sunday, just, it's best just to relax, okay? Don't do anything major. Don't, uh, it just feels like very low energy on Sunday, okay? So we only have one major arcana, that is Saturday, that's judgment, okay? And judgment is telling you it's always best to surrender. Again, the eclipse does the work for us. The eclipse is just, we just move through the energy. We don't charge our crystals. We don't make moon water. We don't really set intentions for things that we want to bring in. It's not, it's, it's, let me collect my thoughts. You can set intentions of this is what I'm ready to surrender. This is the life that I want to move into, but it's not good for like trying to manifest. It's not good for like, I want to make this happen. It's like, this is what I'm really willing to, to surrender and to let go of so I can move into this, this new energy. This is what I'm allowing to come into my life, right? Because it's a new moon. This is what I'm allowing to come into my life because I know that that's the best thing possible for me. Okay. Good relationship, healthy habits, uh, abundance. You're just allowing things to flow in. Does that make sense? Rather than trying to manifest something to happen, we're allowing things to flow in. More of a feminine type of energy is what it feels like. Okay? I have to manifest so I can make action with union. I don't know what you mean. You don't have to manifest. Oh, I'm glad you appreciate this. Good. Curveball, get back in line. You did the right thing. Yeah. <laughs> good, good, good. Sunday is the page of wands in reverse. Okay. Uh, my moon book says it says to communicate with others on the new moon. I like that. I like that. Let's look underneath the deck. Eclipse season is when the universe comes in and rearranges the furniture. Best not to resist and the universe and let the universe do its thing. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Look at that. Underneath we have the Ten of Cups, you guys. So what does that mean when this is hiding underneath? This is what the universe is trying to help you with, okay? The Ten of Cups is the ultimate happiness. 
That is that ideal situation that you're always thinking of, always dreaming of, but you haven't yet been able to bring it into fruition, right? Where the universe is like, we're trying to help you with this, but you have to allow us to do what we do best, and then you can do what you do best. Like you're doing the ultimate teamwork here. Make sense? The the universe is like, we, we will rearrange this furniture for you, like Jamie said, <laughs> and we'll make it to where it feels so great, and then you have these open areas where you can bring in new amazing things and everything will just feel right. Okay? So the universe wants you to be happy. But if you are fighting, if you're resistant, if, if you're trying to control everything, then you're just <coughs> rearranging furniture on a sinking ship is what you're doing. Okay? Yes, teamwork makes the dream work. This is great. Energies have been full on. I needed to be reminded of surrendering, which I chose tonight. Good for you. Good. Oops, hang on. There we go. You love the Ten of Cups? Me too. So, okay. So let's get some Oracle and find out what else we need to know. All right? Again, this is just a week just to, just to be. Allow yourself to be in the flow of the universe. Allow yourself just to see. Be like, let me see what happens. You know, it's kind of like being on a roller coaster. Let me see what happens. It's just a ride, you know? do we need to know? What else do we need to know? Oh, here's that card again. <clears throat> but now it's direct. And I'm going to read this to you because we need to hear this message again. This card keeps showing up, you guys. And it's number eight. What does eight mean? Which choice to make? This card marks the presence of two or more possible choices in your life. It shows you anxiously looking at two roads, wondering which would be the better choice. Yet, you are still stand. I'm sorry, you are standing still, feet confused. I'm sorry, feeling confused by the up and down emotions of your present indecision. You can spend days, months, or even years in this back and forth energy all the while feeling your focus and your life force energy draining away. This indecision creates a paralysis of will, one that can keep you stuck while you're waiting to be certain about the results of your choice. It's time to let go of the analysis and self-doubt that have been keeping you stuck. Meditate on your options and see where your spirit guides you. Consider which direction resonates with you most, both in the process and in the goal. Follow your heart and make the honoring choice. Okay? Remember, no decision is a decision. So like this person, even though they're not making a decision, they're deciding to stay there. They're deciding to stay in one place. Okay? So whatever decision that you are afraid to make in life, we've been talking about, we've been getting the message of making decisions so much lately because of this eclipse season. There are major evolutions, revolutions coming or happening. And if, you, if you're standing here afraid to make any decisions, you're gonna miss it all, okay? There's so much happening in the cosmos, in the ether, in, I mean, life. And if you don't make a decision, you are, you are in fact making a decision to stay on the sidelines, okay? And who in the hell wants to stay on the sidelines of their life? Don't do that. It's boring. <laughs> you don't get to experience anything. Okay? We're going through what I feel like is a divine feminine evolution, revolution. And if you stay back, then you're going to miss the bus.
I love this deck. Good. Yeah, ride the wave. <laughs> Good. I'm glad this is resonate with y'all. Talking about that on threads. The eclipse is conjunct Black Moon Lilith. Ooh. Interesting. All right. Let's see what else we need to know. Yeah, I love that, Jamie. Female energy equals liberation 100%. 100%. Ooh, look, I don't think we've ever drawn this one. Number 49, Talisman. Okay. I'm going to read this one to you. I have not pulled this in any of my personal readings for clients, so let's see. I like it. Okay. A lesson truly learned is crystallized and earned, I'm sorry, as earned wisdom. You have all you need for the success you seek. Ooh, okay, I'm liking this one. Wisdom allows you to recognize traps on the road and familiar patterns that you want to avoid. Speaking of wisdom, we were just talking about the fairy blessing, which is number 22. Remember how I said, you have the wisdom. You, you know this, right? So let's keep going. Uh, it also enables you to quickly gather information about where you are on your journey. It helps you recognize your allies and know how to find the best routes along the way. Now you're at a place where you know the right things to do and the best choices to make. You really can't commit a mistake. Whatever your inquiry, great fortune awaits you for you have the wisdom to arrive at the right decision. Hmm? You've learned your lessons and earned the right to your success. There you go, okay? Here's your success, the Ten of Cups, getting that ideal life, getting that ideal situation, the relationship, the job, just the life in general, whatever it is that you're wanting. The universe is trying to help you with that, but the more you fight it and the, the more you resist, the less you're going to get there, okay? The universe is like, let us help you. Let us show you the way. The eclipses are like, let us move things around and you let it happen and then you move forward, okay? Very interesting, because it's telling you there are decisions to be made. And if you start making these decisions for your highest good through your own personal wisdom, then it will be successful, okay? Uh, let's do this one. I haven't done this one in a while. This is the animal spirit deck. Let's see. You love this week's message? Me too. <laughs> okay, okay. Let's see, let's see. We have the lizard. Very interesting because a lizard follows their instincts, okay? The lizard can, can handle a lot of situations because they follow their instincts, okay? They're, they're paying attention and then whatever's happening, whatever they sense, whatever they feel, whatever they see, they're following that intuition and then they're going to re respond to that. So this is what that's telling you. It's like you're very well going to be all in your spidey senses this week. And it's telling you, surrender to the universe, feel it, and then make the decision. Does that make sense? If not, please let me know. You, Every single one of us has intuition. Every single one of us has those spidey senses. It's just the majority of us don't trust our own spidey senses. The majority of us don't trust ourselves. And so that's where you get stuck, okay? You have to learn to trust yourself. You have to learn to, to connect to those intuitive thoughts, those intuitive knowings, those spidey senses. And I find it very interesting how we have these two. So they have their back turned, right? And they're, they're, they're standing here by themselves and they're needing to go down a path right? And so it's, this one's asking you, which path do you want to go down? 
It's like if you make the right decision with through your wisdom, through all your experiences and the, the path that you know that you need to go down, it will be successful. Okay? And this is about you, yes, walking away. This is about you fully turning yourself in a new direction. That's why the back is, is turned. Okay? You're, you're completely turning in a, in a new direction. She's guiding and helping. And you are walking. And you are deciding. Okay? It's, it's, it's like the, the back is fully turned because <clears throat> you are making the decision. You are not looking to somebody else to make the decision for you. We have the snail and the huckleberry. Trust the invisible. I've been telling you this whole time. <laughs> Your intuition your spidey senses are telling you something and it might get a lot stronger this week, okay? And whether or not you decide to trust it and go with it is gonna be the difference between staying on the same old path or going on the new one, okay? You're being nudged, you're being coerced, you're being helped in this new energy, in this new timeline, this new path but your fear is the thing that's going to hold you back. Okay? Your fear is the one that causes you to make the, you know, the knee-jerk decision to, to do the same old thing as you always have to get the same old thing you always have. Making sense? Like, I'm telling you, October is a big month. I don't, I don't know why. Maybe it is just the eclipses. I'm not sure. But I do feel like there's some sort of major evolution happening in October. Another card about a path. A difficult path is being revealed. Ask for help and learn that we are all connected. Okay? There's something, I told you, there's going to be some sort of revelation happening. And it, it, something about a path. <laughs> Decisions, paths, all of that. Okay? Like, you can't ignore this. And I think it's funny how... Oh, almost what 20 people just dropped off because they don't want to they don't want to have to make decisions they don't want to have to they just they want their decisions made for them can't do that okay you're getting chills oh i know it's crazy i feel like i've been dealing with this a lot over the last few weeks yeah yeah we keep getting the uh we keep getting the message of there's major decisions being made it's kind of like you know, we're getting this, this, um, this message of like, hey, something is coming. Hey, something is evolving. Something's happening. Are you with us or are you not? Okay. And, and that's going to be up to you. It's like, are you evolving or are you not? Are you going to go on this new energy level or are you not? Okay. That's, I was thinking about this uh, yesterday. I was like, you know what? I feel like, you know, we're all being woken up for a reason. Not everybody is going to go down the awakening path, and that's okay because they are meant to just, I guess, maybe be a reminder of what our old life looked like. You know, they're, they're holding that space, and we are the way showers for the people that step into the new energy, okay? But, um, you know, with all this AI and stuff like, like that happening, like taking over jobs, taking over this and this and that, you know, I just felt this immense gratitude because AI can never take over what I do. AI can never take over divination because it is not sentient. It doesn't have the connection to the divine, right? So the more you find that connection to the divine, you will always be relevant. You will always be in demand. You will always be connected. You will always be evolving. Like you, that can't be something that's ever taken away, okay? So I highly recommend that you join this divine feminine revolution and you learn a divination practice or you really start focusing on connecting to divine source energy because in all the stuff that 
uh, AI is replacing, you could be somebody that really helps people in your own way. Okay? Just like, just like I do. Yeah, it can never take over your human thought process. Yeah, it can, it can do a lot of jobs, but connecting to the divine, no, not going to be one of them. Charge ahead says, embrace courage and determination for uh, forging your path with confidence and readiness to overcome obstacles. There we go. It's that one right there. Okay. I've been using your info as a catalyst and a friend. Whoops, hang on, I can't see that. And a friend just introduced me to your page. Oh, well, good. Well, welcome. <laughs> I'm glad you're here. And if you guys want to spend the next year together in 2025, look at the Quantum Master Academy. That's where I'm going to teach you all of the tools. And all of those tools I'm going to teach you cannot be replaced by AI. Okay? What did Jamie say? Whoops. Empowerment lies within your ability to trust and make the choices you know are right for you. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, do I have this over here? Oh, shit. Uh, Rebel deck. Not yet. <laughs> it's like jumping out at me. Oh, let's do the Kipper deck. Okay. Maybe it was the Kipper throwing the Rebel deck. <laughs> The Jetsons predicted this, yeah. <laughs> I just want the maid to. Is it a good time to get involved in politics? Heard it's better now to self-isolate. I mean, do whatever you feel is right. Honestly, I can't tell you what to do when it comes to politics. This is collective. Thank you for asking. Yes, AI can't take away from massage therapist, Reiki practitioner. Yes, exactly, exactly. All right, let's see what else we need to know. Oh my God, you guys, I'm so tired of this card. I'm so tired of this card, but I do feel like it is a, a message, like a, 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 not a heavy message, a strong message from the universe stating that you are not alone and your community now more than ever is going to be extremely important. Okay. From now on, the people that you spend your time with are going to be extremely influential in your journey. So it's extremely important for you to know who you are hanging around with, who you're listening to, who you're sharing your energy with, okay? And know that the universe is helping you along the entire way, but you do need that collective community here in the physical, okay? Oh, okay, calm down. I'm telling the amount of times that freaking card has come out is annoying, <laughs> but you have to take the message, you know, who's cooking beans. Did y'all smell? I'm going to say, did y'all smell that? Of course you didn't. Somebody's cooking beans. It's like pinto beans. Uh, like you cook in a pot over hours. Oh, I just smelled that. It smelled good. Maybe it was a reminder of like, you know, community getting together or something like that. That was, that was strong. That was interesting. We are all in this together. We are the community. Yes. Exactly. Too much of society's message is lone wolf energy. Yeah. But we can't change the world alone. Exactly. Exactly. You're, I'm cooking eggs and with seasoning, right? When you said that, maybe that's what I smelled. Maybe it was a seasoning. <laughs> what was the seasoning, Ashley? 
uh, my boy, my, oh, my BFF smells beans when my dad needs me to know he's near. Oh, maybe that, you're new here though, right? So maybe that, okay. Maybe that's your dad letting you know he's part of your community. That's freaking awesome. <laughs> that's so true. Already, uh, my friends have re replaced more genuine friends. Good, 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 good. You're using salt and pepper? Okay. I, I smelled beans. Like, I'm telling you, I, I got an idea or, or a vision of a pot of beans. So that is freaking awesome. The, these smells and, and things like that come in uh, all the time. Wait, yours just finished? Like you were making beans, Patty? Can't make this stuff up. You can now smell baked beans. <laughs> now these smell, they reminded me of, okay, so here's the thing. Teacher Sassy Pants. I don't know your name. I'm sorry. But it reminded me of my stepdad's beans that he makes in, in the fall and winter. And so it very well could be connected to your dad because it immediately gave me that memory of my stepdad making beans, like pinto beans, and he would cook them all day long. They're so good. Wow. That's awesome that you're making beans as well. So, see? Can't make it up. I smell these things randomly. And it's just an indication for somebody that I'm reading. Look, we got, uh, this is the Spirit of the Animal Oracle. We got Dolphin Play. Remember how we had this one? A Blessing from the Ever Young. Okay, so we got Dolphin Play. Swim in the happy joy of living. Inhale confidence and exhale fear. Dive into your wisdom. Go with the flow. See, we're getting the message of go with the flow, surrender, just let things be and, and know that the universe is guiding you on this, on this wave, on this river, whatever it is that you want to view it as. Can you guide regarding finances and love? Uh, it depends on what kind of guidance you're needing. You can be more specific in the chat. I can help. Yes, dolphins are communal animals as well. That is true. Yeah, they, they stay in pods. They, they protect each other. Yep, yep, yep. See, you guys, I'm telling you, your, uh, your community really is everything, okay? If you're spending time with people that are just, they're not evolving, they're not doing anything with their lives, they're just drinking it away or gossiping it away or, do, you know, it's doing all that stuff that just, like, sucks your soul. Like, you really need to spend your time with more evolved people. I don't want to say better people, just more evolved people, okay? People that are actually doing something. Oh my God, Flo, I pulled that for my thought of the day. Whoops. And I'm, and I'm about to, to post it when we're done here. Oh, nice. <laughs> the cards know. Yes, as cliche as it sounds, your vibe attracts your tribe. Yes. And your tribe affects your vibe. So, yeah. Whoops, come on now. Angel assistance, I told you, you're not alone. The universe is helping this week. Whatever's going on, it's like just surrender. Be like, you know what? You do the work for me. Show me my next right step. You do what you got to do and then show me my next right step. Okay? And then you pay attention and you listen and then you, you take that guidance. Okay? Tell the universe, show me my next right step. And then... Take it. <laughs> if you have, hun, if you have to ask if your husband truly loves you, it's time to uh, evaluate the relationship, and you know what are you accepting, what are you allowing in your life, and. If you feel like he doesn't really love you, then it's time for you to make some changes in life. Maybe go to counseling or therapy. Um, 
to figure that out, okay? I gotta figure out who my guardian angel is. I know he shakes his head a lot. Well, I, I take all of my uh, tarot students on a meet your spirit guide uh, meditation. Oh, look, celebration, look at that. We'll talk about that in a second. But I take them all on a spirit guide uh, meditation and it's fascinating. And all you do really is you, is you visualize or envision that you are going into a room, going into a space, like you're, you're going through a threshold or a doorway. And in there is where you're gonna meet your spirit guide. And you let them appear as they are, as they want to. Because not all spirit guides look like us humans. You know, Some of them look very ethereal and they look different from us, okay? So just let them appear and then ask them their name. That meditation made you cry, aw. Okay, so here, celebration. There, number one, there is a lot to celebrate in life. As, as shitty as things look right now, there is still a lot to celebrate in life. Number two, if you are making decisions, right? Making these new decisions like the other cards are saying, if you're making these other decisions, and you are moving forward. God, now I smell grass or, y'all are giving me all the smells today. Like it smelled like, like grass and, and, and fall leaves. Like somebody sitting outside, but you can really smell it. Anyway, <laughs> when you're making the decisions this week or in the next few weeks, this is going to lead you down a path of success. This is gonna lead you to a place where you are celebrating. You're like, holy, I never thought this was gonna happen. Like, I can't believe it actually happened. Like, is this my life? And the universe is like, yeah, that's your life because you chose it. Hang on, I gotta verify myself on TikTok. I saw her mind showed up as the king of wands. <laughs> nice. You're working with hay and a oh, rabbit manure. Awesome. <laughs> it didn't quite smell shitty. But <laughs> I was just moving plants in the yard and fall is happening. Okay. Celebrating 40th month. October 8th. Oh, celebrating 40th this month on October 8th. Look at you. Celebrate, celebrate. <laughs> okay, let's see. I missed something. Your birthday's on the 5th. Oh, happy early birthday. Good, good, good. See, so much to celebrate, you guys. So this is big energy, big messages about choosing your path, about going with the flow of the universe and just letting things happen. We get scared when things start to move in our lives and then we start to try to control it. And... The universe is like, you can't do that. You have to allow us to help you. If you want us to help you, then you got to let us help. You can't be hanging on to things. It's like, imagine like you're a hoarder and you asked for help on, you know, cleaning out your place and getting your life together. Somebody comes in to help you, but then you're like, no, I don't want to get rid of that. No, I don't want to get rid of that. No, I don't, you know, and the universe is like, well, fuck it then. You're going to be a hoarder, you know? So you have to decide to surrender to the things that are trying to leave because there's so much more that is trying to come in here, right? And with this new moon being uh, in Libra, this is about things that, not, it, it is relationships, but you know, Libra's ruled by Venus. Venus rules love, it rules luxury, it rules success, it rules beauty and harmony and all of that, okay? So in your home, you wanna make your home something that it's just like you, you know how like when you go to a hotel or a resort or something like that, you're like, God, I feel so great here. You want your home to be like that too, to where you are there in your home and you feel wonderful. You are like, this is my space. This is my vibe. Like whenever I had friends over this weekend because it was my girls and, and we did a fall craft. I had them over. I made food for them and we did a, a fall pumpkin craft and um, they were like, your house is like so aesthetic. Your house feels so good. I'm like, yes, that's the plan. <laughs> you know, that's what I'm working on. 
And so you want your home to be your own aesthetic. You want to feel so good in your space and you want it to represent who you are, right? Remember we were talking about the other day, Marie Diamond is like, your home is your 3D vision board. Well, if you have like negative things, if you have sad things, if you have things from past relationships that just were shit and you have that still around in your home, what is it going to do? It's going to spark that memory and it pulls you in that low vibration. Okay. Everything holds energy, everything. So make your home something that feels right for you. That is, that is you and it's high energy. It's, it sparks creativity. It's, it sparks uh, coziness, you know, whatever, all the different rooms need to have a different energy of what they're trying to do. Like my bedroom, very cozy, very warm, right? Living room is cozy, but welcoming and inviting. So you, you want your space to be that, like that's that Venus energy. Okay. And if it, if it doesn't resonate with you anymore, give it to somebody that it might resonate to, you know, get, like I gave away one of my blanket ladders to one of my friends because I don't need it anymore. I was like, here, you can have it. Take it. <laughs> you know, I don't need it. It's just taking up space here. And if it's going to work in your space, by all means, go use it. Okay. Yeah. Very demure. Very mindful. <laughs> yes. My cave bedroom. Exactly. Anne. so, I mean, that's that's what we want to focus on in this in this new moon eclipse. We just want to focus on the surrender. We want to allow things to come in. We want to surrender to, you know what? I allow the universe to do the work for me to bring in what is rightfully mine by divine right. I I'm letting go of the things that are taking up space in my life, whether it be things, emotions, thoughts, people, whatever. And I'm going to, I'm just going to surrender and I'm going to go with the flow with the universe. And when a decision presents itself to me, I'm going to look at it through my higher self, right? And I'm going to make the, de the decision, even if it's a little bit scary, even if it's a little uncomfy, I'm going to make the decision that is for my highest good, no matter what. Okay. Don't we always like look at those people who are like, yeah, no, that isn't, that doesn't work for me. I, I don't, I don't want that. I don't accept that. Or I'm not going to be involved in that. Like we all respect those people because they speak up, right? Well, you have the ability to do that too. You have the ability to be like, you know what? That does not resonate with me. I don't want to be involved in any capacity. <laughs> and you're allowed to speak up. Okay, let's see. Let's see. This is our money message for the week. Let's see what it wants to tell us. Oh, you're very welcome. And thank you to your dad for stopping in and, and letting me smell the beans. <laughs> that was awesome. I hope to see you back again. I won't be here Friday, but I will be back next Monday, 9.30 a.m. Central Standard Time. Okay, let's see, let's see. There is something better, okay? It's telling you, there is more to come. There is something better. This is connected to your finances. There is something better than what you're experiencing now. So if your finances are low, it's telling you there's more to, to come, but you have to do the work. You have to really surrender and get away from that old nasty habit of overspending or lack mindset or being around people that are just broke mindset all the time. You have to do the thing. And step into that that pathway, right? Hang on. Step into the pathway, and that's where you experience the something better. Okay? Because you will never experience better when you're always doing the same. Got it? I have so many cards laying in front of me. <laughs> I have happy memories of my things with me. Good for you. That's what you want. Ooh, we have dice. Look at that. I'm going to read all the different things here. It says risks involved, uh, trusting fate, weighing the risks, playing the game of chance. Well, 
When we're looking at these cards here, right, what sticks out? Trusting fate and then weighing the risks, okay? So when we're weighing the risks of what's going on in our life, like, am I at risk? If I stay here, if I do the same old thing, if I make the same old decision, what's the risk in that? Well, the risk is that you're going to stay in the same place and you'll be in the same, you'll be living the same life 15 years from now that you're living now, okay? That's the risk you run. If you start doing things differently and you start moving differently, you start working with the universe, start doing all the things, then what's the risk? The risk is you're going to move away from this old, same, boring life and you're going to get to experience new things. You're going to get to experience opportunity. It's going to be different for everybody. But a lot of people see that as risk because they can't predict it. They can't control it, right? But let me tell you, when you step into this new energy, when you step into this new pathway, there is a sense of control because when you're making decisions that you know are for your highest good, that are in alignment with who you are now instead of who you were 20 years ago, then you open yourself up to these amazing opportunities, okay? Like I have just had opportunities presented to me just by showing up to my life, just by showing up here and, and doing what I love. So you can have the same thing happen for you as well. Oh, good for you. You get to change your legal relationship status to separate it. It's gonna help you get more assistance from the government. Good, good, I hope, yeah, that's good. That's gonna help you with your kids and everything. Help you get, get back on your feet. Yeah, it's important. So are y'all are y'all understanding what I'm saying? It's like you are having major opportunities present itself through this eclipse season. And if you just ignore it, okay, fine. The universe is like you can do whatever you want, right? But you're gonna continue to get the same old, same old. But if you step into this energy and you start really to like start really working with it, then you can have endless opportunities present itself. Okay? But decisions do have to be made. And if you don't make a decision, that's the decision to stay the same. Okay? This reading gas. Okay, you know, I learned from my kids that that means that's a good thing. <laughs> I'm glad you like it. I'm really showing my age with that one. <laughs> Let's do one more card and then we'll close it out. What else do we need to know this week? Ooh, I Aqua Luna, I am grateful and blessed. I told you this felt more like a feminine energy, right? Because it's the new moon in Libra. So it says, I am grateful and blessed. And that can be something that you affirm over and over again. Okay, another thing you can affirm over and over again is like when you're trying to increase, increase your finances, right? If you're worried about things, we have the first of the month coming up. So let's say you pay rent or you pay your mortgage on the first, right? When you pay it, I want you to recite this over and over again, out loud or in your head. Everything I spend comes back to me times 10. And it, it works. Okay, don't forget the rabbit rabbit, but also affirm everything I spend comes back to me times 10. I did this this weekend. Uh, my son and I were, we went to the store to get stuff for like to host my little girls get together here. And I was getting all the food. I got the pumpkins. I got all the things that we were going to de decorate. And, um, and he was like, God, I can't. And I bought him some new like fall clothes as well. And um, he was like, God, I can't believe stuff that, that's expensive. And I said, yeah, I said, but it's all right. I said, because everything I spend comes back to me times 10. And that kept going in my head, in my head, in my head. And all of a sudden, a little bit later, I had an email of everything I spent had just come back to me times 10. All the time. Okay? So make it a game. Make it fun. Remember, we have the blessing of every young. Right? Make it fun. Everything I spend comes back to me times 10 and use it as a rhyme. 
in your head over and over and over again. Just let it play. Everything I spend comes back to me times 10. And just let it go. And I'm telling you, it'll happen. Okay? So whenever you feel grateful and blessed, you can use that energy. I'm sorry, not whenever you feel, but when you put yourself in that energy of feeling grateful and blessed, and you can recite these little rhymes, it works. Okay? Because you're, you're flowing. Right? Music is all about flowing. Poetry is all about flowing. Rhyming, all about flowing. Okay? So everything I spend comes back to me times 10. Everything I spend comes back to me times 10. And you just keep reciting it. And it, you'll feel that energy, that heaviness just drop out. And that's what we want. Okay? It works. Don't forget it. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, what deck was that with the black just writing? Uh, this one. This is the Maruka Golden Insights Oracle. You find it on Etsy. Golden Insights Oracle. Yeah, I don't. I don't think it's on um, Amazon or anything. I think you have to get it on Etsy, but I could be wrong. So you can check Amazon. Oh, the Rebel deck. Thank you, Denise. I almost forgot. The one before. Oh, it's the same. It's the, the Maruka deck. You talk about the money deck where it was said there's something better. That's the same company. It's um, Maruk. M-A-H-R-U-K-H. You find it on Etsy. Okay, let's do the Rebel deck. Yes, I almost forgot. Everything I spend comes back to me times 10. Yeah. You just did that this weekend? Good. It, I'm telling you, it works. And you just play with it. Okay. If you get easily offended, now is the time to scroll away. This deck has an attitude, and it will call you out. <laughs> okay. What do we need to know this week? What is our rebel message this week? Oh, it says they broke your heart. Speaking of the three of swords, right? They broke your heart. <laughs> Fuck them. <laughs> That's literally what it says. They broke your heart. Fuck them. Let it go. Okay? It sucks. It's not fun to be broken hearted. Fuck them. They're not meant to be around here. Okay? You ha and it's perfect for the Libra new moon. The Libra eclipse. It's about radically just surrendering and, and separating from that energy and allowing yourself to receive the right person. But you're not going to receive the right person until you're the right person for you. Okay? Hear me again. You're not going to receive the right person until you are the right person for you. Because if you're not the right person for you, then you will accept the bare minimum. But if you are the right person for you, you most certainly will not. Okay? You will recognize a, a, like a similar vibration and you'll be like, okay, yeah. Okay? That hits you hard? Well, I'm glad you're here. Yeah, keep moving. <laughs> yes. Good for y'all. So that's the thing. It's like we're no longer holding on to, I mean, with the, with the North Node in Aries and the South Node in Libra, that's the point of this, this energy anyways, is moving into the I am, moving into the self and moving away from those toxic, codependent, traumatic relationships. Okay? And the way that you do it is you're like, fuck it. I'm out. I'm leaving that in the past. I don't have time for that shit because I'm moving into being the right person for me. And I'm telling you, as soon as you get to that point where you're the right person for you, you will not accept anything less than what you know you accept or you, you know you deserve. Okay? And you will get tested here and there. Like I said earlier, the universe will bring you these, these instances, these experiences where you're getting tested to, to prove to yourself that, yes, I, I am the right person for me. Yes, I did do Please don't spam my chat. Why does this always happen? It's like, 
Does he love me? Will he come back? You know, does he think about me? Stop, you guys. You're disempowering yourself. You really are, okay? If you don't know if somebody likes you, that means they don't like you. And, or you've got severe anxiety. And, and either or needs to be addressed, okay? So males will always make it known if they like you and they want to be with you. If, if you're questioning, then they don't, okay? I'm sorry. I'm not trying to be rude. I'm just, you came in just full on hollering, spamming my chat. Unacceptable, okay? It's rude. So anyways, I hope that message rings clear to you about everything that we read this week. If you missed the beginning, don't worry. I put it all up on, on YouTube so you can go back and watch it and remind yourself of the energy of what's happening. Like I was saying, you know, being in this uh, Libra and uh, Aries, you know, being in the nodes and going through these eclipses, this is like radical change. This is like radical adjustment. This is like you stepping into you, you no longer accepting the bare minimum. You no longer accepting like, you know, things that we just witness, you know, do they like me? Do they not? Like if they don't, if you're ever questioning a relationship, that's a, a big indication that they do not like you like they say they do. Okay. Because nobody that truly cares about you would leave you wondering or leave you guessing. Now, if they've done everything on their side to, to make it known and you're still questioning, then that's a problem with you. Okay. But right now, this week, we're looking at surrendering. We're looking at going with the flow, making the decisions that are right for us and our higher selves and being in that powerful state, okay? So if you need anything, I'm always here. If you want to learn any of these tools that I've used, then check out the Quantum Master Academy. We're going to spend 2025 together closely, and I'm going to teach you Everything. I'm going to teach you tarot, advanced tarot, metaphysics, numerology. Um, I'm bringing in lovely ladies. They're going to teach you astrology and crystals. And then I'm going to teach you Reiki 1 and 2. And then I'm going to show you how to start your own business with all of that, if that's what you choose to do. Okay? These are the, the tools that AI can never replace. Okay? These are things that you will be able to use throughout your entire lifetime. And you can help others with these tools. This is the point of having this knowledge is we share it, we use it, we share it, we use it, and then the planet wakes up, okay? So I hope this helps you. I'm unsure about a lot of things, but the love my husband has for me definitely is for certain. Yes, good, 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 good. Thank you, Don. I appreciate it. So yes, I will not be here Friday. I am going out of town. I will be back next Monday, 9.30 a.m. Central Standard Time. Okay, so we will look at the week just like we normally do, and we'll do all those things. But yeah, I hope you all have a wonderful week, a wonderful weekend. And remember, today I'm going to be announcing the person who wins the free uh, tarot reading from me. Okay, so mwah, love to you all. Have a wonderful week.